everyone. So that's Lucky, my dog, and behind Lucky is my beehive, which was given to me by this wonderful man in Clare who runs his own little company called Let It Beehive. And um, these beehives are simply there for um, supporting wild bees, which is really cool. So we have the native black bee has found its way in here and um, it's full of honey and they're very happy and in the winter when they get really hungry I, I, I supplement their food just in case because I don't want them to die because the first year we, we had wild bees they died in the winter from starvation so I don't want that to happen anymore so we add some stuff called ambrosia which is um, a mix of complex sugars which is better than sugar water which is what people often feed them so um, that's the bees it's, uh, well worth having um, the other option is log hives which is really fabulous and log hives are hanging from trees so they're above the um, the flight you, you know they're above human height and the flight path is kind of makes people feel a little bit safer because you're not in their path when they're flying and um and that's you know bees would naturally have made homes in old hollow tree stumps but there isn't much of that left anymore and beekeepers clip the wings of um uh, bees to stop them swarming which really upsets their uh, natural health and genetic diversity um, and natural evolution so by keeping a wild beehive um, that you're not using to harvest honey, then you can um, really support the, the native bee if possible. And um, of course, most bees in Ireland are solitary bees or, um, and they burrow in ground, in, in, in kind of sandy or earth banks. Um, and they're the ones that are mostly under threat. Um, somebody once said, said to me that keeping honeybees to support bees is a bit like keeping chickens to support birds. <laughs> But the native bee is well worth supporting and not interfering with them and you know it's a very lovely tradition in Ireland of telling the bees when anything is happening in the family. Um, there's supposed to be a natural kind of link between the afterworld and this world and they travel between the two and so there's always been a tradition of letting them know when something is changing or somebody has passed on or um, a big news comes in the family you sit beside the bees where I sit beside the bees there on the pallet and tell them lots of stuff and um, yeah we love our bees 